everyone and welcome back to my channel so it is sunday we just got back from walt disney world literally it's 12 so like 10 hours ago yeah we got home like 10 hours ago um so we're a little sleepy we're a yep. little rough but we are going to film this video because i want to get it edited and uploaded and then also i just wanted to be able to put everything away yeah. <laughs> um so this is our walt disney world haul for october of 2019 if you are new here um hello my name is caitlin i post disney videos lifestyle kind of videos here on my channel this is my husband austin um he's not normally here but he's going to nope. be here because <laughs> we went to star wars and a lot of the stuff we got is star wars so that is why he's here yes. um but yes we're gonna get into the video we got a fair bit of stuff so we're just gonna get on into it all right so because we stayed at a disney resort and we were on the dining plan this trip we got our complimentary resort mugs um so they're different every time you go so this time i got like this it just has like a bunch of like classic mickey on it and then i just got it in the black um this time since we were there for like halloween that was my thought and process mine is the happy halloween um cup bunch of, like portraits of different characters and then it's all just like halloween themed Spooky. yeah <laughs> yeah that was austin's and then we went to the halloween party and when you go to the halloween party you are able to get a free um a specialty i guess um sources of the magic kingdom card so we picked those up we each got one but we'll just yeah. show the one um so it's different for every like year for the halloween party so this mm -hmm. one is all the gang kind of trick-or-treating i feel like it's supposed to be like the fireworks show because the fireworks show was supposed to be like yeah and then because we are technically still annual pass holders um for this year we got our pass holder magnets so the first one we actually get, got two because we were there like right at the cusp of the, like they do the two style. different magnets yeah, like, like they do during, one at the start and then one at the end of the festival or, yeah food and wine festival yeah i can say that so um so we got both so yeah. the one is chef mini and then the other one is remy from ratatouille which is like super cute so we each got one of those so we'll probably put like one set on our cart and then we always like keep one set and then the last like free thing that we got was um so when you go to the food and wine festival when you're pass holders if you go to epcot four times so you just check in four times um you then get free coasters so we got this set of coasters um they are wooden coasters and they just have the little chef mini like printed on them i think it's like seared it seared on them? yeah i think yeah. yeah like show the and then it comes in this nice little case and yeah so that's all of our free stuff and then maybe i'll move on to food because that's technically yeah. free not really not really but kind of sort of so because we were on the dining plan um we actually did really well on the dining plan this time normally we have like way more snacks left over than this this looks like a lot but it's really not and we were on the quick service dining yeah plan. we were on the quick service dining plan so yeah. left over at the end i think we had two snacks each and one meal each hmm. so total it was six seven eight nine we had ten snacks that's something like that yeah. can count ten them snacks, as you go through, but. but that's like around what we had I mean, we only had two snacks total, total, and, two and then meals. two meals. I think that's what it was. So we just got a few snacks. Um, so these would all like transfer over. So if you have any snacks left over, you get one snack, like in a pre-package. Or if you have any meals left over, you can transfer it over to three snacks. But you have to use all three snacks at the same time if you're using a meal. Mm -hmm. So like, unfortunately, you can't just like say, "Oh, I want to use one snack from that meal." at different times yeah you have to use the whole yeah all together so. so we got some mini unicorn pops and we got some green sour belts and we got some red sour belts and we got two mickey rice krispie treats and some gourmet jelly beans <laughs> and then we got two of the chippendale snack company crunchy spicy mix 
These are the best trial mix you will ever eat in your life. It is so delicious. It is so good. If we Make could sure you buy, get the spicy one though. Yeah. If we could buy 90 bags of these, yeah. <laughs> we would. And just have them all the time. Because they're so freaking good. Yeah. I'll just show this because it's little. Um, but when we were at Rock and Roller Coaster, um, they have those little like custom dog tag kind of things. So we got Cooper a little dog tag. So this is the dog tag that we got. So it says Pluto on the front. And then we just got his um, name engraved on the back and our phone numbers. Obviously, I'm not going to show that. Um, but actually, I guess I could not want to show it. Basically, just on the back, we have Cooper and then yeah. our name or our phone numbers. Phone numbers engraved. Do you want to do Halloween party stuff? Sure. We only got two things from the Halloween party the pass holder t shirt. Um, it's a little wrinkly because I wore it to bed the one night, but it's just like Mickey in front of the castle. It says pass holder. Mickey's not so scary. Does it have the date? Oh, yeah, it does. 2019. Yep. So we got that. And then I got the pass holder pin. So this is, again, it's like the exact same kind of um, logo. logo design. So it's Mickey trick-or-treating and it just says pass holder. Mickey's not so scary Halloween party, blah, 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 blah. And this is a limited release pin. So the pin was $15.99. So I guess since we're on to pins, I'll just show the rest of the pins that we got. Okay, so... I got a couple pins, not a ton this trip. So we got that one and then I got the All-Star Resort pin. We was Ada All-Star Movies will be there so we got the All-Star pin. I don't like that they don't make different ones for each of the All-Star Resorts. They just make like one in general. So I don't love that but whatever. We got one because we stayed there. And then we also got the Pass Holder Food and Wine Festival um, pin. This one. So that is what that one looks like. It's really pretty. It has like rose gold on the side. And then this guy was $15.99 as well. Um, and then we also got a couple of the Disney Hugs boxes, but I actually did an unboxing, which you will see on Thursday. This is going up Monday. You will see it on Thursday. So I'm not going to show the pins that we got because that's in the unboxing, but we did a little unboxing with those. And then these were pins that I actually had picked up from a while ago from Beth Lung. I'll link her channel down below. Um, but she, instead of having to ship them to me, she ended up just dropping them off to me at our resort. So I figure I'll show them in here. So this one is a limited edition. So this is for the 20th, the 25th anniversary of um, the Tower of Terror. It's like a really pretty rose gold pin. And just says Hollywood Tower Hotel and then it like opens up and then it's Mickey and then this slides open and then it's the service elevator so it's like a really cool pin this one was $17.99 and then I got this one which is so cool so this one again is a limited edition um, and it is the Nightmare Before Christmas it's a jumbo pin um, and it's actually like the countdown to Halloween so you can change the back of this like it's a little spinner and then this spins around and like you can actually change the date and it's just like super cool um, and this one is $29.99 this one's edition <laughs> and it's massive and it's huge it's and like it's exactly that's a good that's a good deal it's a good deal Austin also got a pin yep I did Go get ahead. a pin <laughs> <laughs> so this is the pin I got when I built my lightsaber um there's four different versions of pins that you can get when you build your lightsaber. It depends on the theme of the lightsaber that you build. Yeah, Peace and Justice, which is the one I got, which is just like a classic like Jedi lightsaber. I got that when I built the lightsaber. Um, and you have to wear it. You have to wear it so that they know which bin to give you. Um, because basically when you walk in, um, you're wearing the pin and then you go to a station and then they have all the boxes like on the back side of like the desk. And then whatever pin you have, that's like the pin they give you with like the right parts to build like your type of lightsaber. So. So moving on to the lightsaber. <laughs> I guess that is a good segue. So it comes in this like big like sheath mm -hmm. case thing that you can wear over your shoulder. Um, so this is my lightsaber. So it's like a very, <laughs> I'll turn it off first and I'll like pop on it. So I did get the green Kyber crystal during the experience. 
Um, it's a lot more green in person on camera. It's yeah. really white, but it's I really love green. The noises that it makes when you like. And then when you like move it around, it like makes like the. Yeah. We should have done a whole video just for you to talk. We could have. We, we literally could have done a whole video. Um, the bottom, and then the. Why don't you just show clip. it? We can just make a video, and you can talk all about it. Yeah. Okay. I'm just thinking because this is gonna be really long. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is my lightsaber. If you want a video talking about the lightsaber, this experience, like everything, we definitely can do that. Um, it's just it would be way too long. And no this. down below. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I'm very happy with it. And then <laughs> you could tell. So the lightsaber is $1.99 um, in the experience, which it's definitely worth it in my opinion. If you're at all a Star Wars like geek like mm -hmm. me, it's, it's the coolest thing in the world. Um, and then when you get your lightsaber, you can choose if you want to get a stand. So this is the stand that it comes with. Um, well, you pay extra for it. Yeah, you pay extra. For, like this is the stand you, that you can buy when you build the lightsaber. So this thing just like slides up here, and then there's like these clips, which I have already put on. The hilt sits in. Um, you have to take the blade out to have it on the stand, or else it's too heavy and it just like falls over. But that's fine, and it's gonna look really cool on my shelf. So, and this is twenty four ninety nine for the stand, and then I also got the belt clip. And this was all like they asked. Um, like when he was paying, they asked if he wanted a belt clip or a stand or both, and he bought them well. Like, so it was all one, like, Transaction. like we paid for it all at the same time. Yeah. Basically. So basically it's just like a little belt clip. It just like slides over your belt or even just your shorts if you don't have a belt. And then this thing just slides down and then it just clips in. And this is $17.99 for the belt clip. And then we got one of the Coke bottles, um, just the regular Coke bottle. How much was it? Was it seven dollars or was it six dollars? It was six or seven dollars. They're very expensive, but um, it's super cool. But like in comparison to Disney Coke or whatever, anyways, I think that's how much you pay for a Coke bottle regular at Disney. So. And it's super cool. So whatever. And then when we plan when we Book. booked our trip, you can pick what magic band you want, and you can get like one of the premium magic bands. You can pay extra for them now. So I got the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge magic band and it is super cool and it's limited release so these are, they're sold you, out now but yeah these aren't like a thing that you can just like go and pick up they're 24.99 i believe we paid ten dollars for it um yeah. because you just like upgrade yeah your magic band but so i'm very happy about that mm -hmm. as well but that is like all my star wars stuff that i got mm -hmm. okay we're kind of backtracking there because mm -hmm. i kind of forgot but so after you build lightsaber well you don't even have to build a lightsaber, but there's like a shop you can go to where you can get um, legacy lightsabers and different like Jedi like memorabilia. Memorabilia, yeah. And so you can buy extra kyber crystals. I got a purple kyber crystal as an extra one. Um, so we picked up this afterwards, and it it was uh, fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine. Which actually is like it, that's not even bad at all. I was expecting it to be we thought it a lot be like more 50 bucks. because it completely changes the color of the mm -hmm. the blade of the lightsaber. So. so then this was the experience that I got to do at Star Wars. This was my Star Wars thing. So we got to build a little droid. So this is my BB unit. We named him BB825. That's our wedding anniversary. 0825. So BB825, and that sounds cool too. So this is my little guy. Um, let me see if I can turn it on. So here's my little guy. <laughs> and he makes sounds. And he actually sounds different because we got a um, personality chip inside of him. So he is a resistance droid. You don't have to get a, res um, a personality chip either. It just says that they just interact a little bit more and then they sound a little bit different. He was... 99 99 to $100 to do the whole experience so you got to pick all your parts and build him um, and then the memory or the personality trip inside was $14.99 I believe now it's kind of just like random stuff so we'll just kind of just go through it as quick as we can I got this hat I've been looking for a hat um, like a Disney hat for 
literally like the last two trips the last like two trips we went on like so the entire time that we've been going and i just wanted a classic hat so i got this mickey hat and it was i don't know i'll put it on the screen i have no idea how much it was but we'll look up i think it was the most expensive one that i remember yes it was the most expensive <laughs> one because it is a nike hat and it's a nice quality i got this little guy so I opened up one of the Nightmare Before Christmas um, mystery pouches, the Wishables mystery pouches, and I felt around in the store for a good five <laughs> minutes to make sure that I was getting zero because he was the only one that I wanted from that set. Um, and I got a cute little zero, and he's just like super little plushy and stuff. And I want to figure out if I can make him into a little keychain because I feel like I would use him so much more if he was like a little bag charm, you know? Like, he just kind of like hung on my bag and he's so cute. But anyways, here's my zero. He's super cute. That's zero. So when we were in Galaxy's Edge, in one of the little shops, it's um, supposed to kind of look like everything's handmade in that shop. Um, so I wanted every single one of these, but I could only pick two. So I got Chewy, and he's supposed to just like look like a little handmade guy. So I got him, and he was... Okay, these are freaking expensive for what they are. But they're really cute. That's so why he's, she only got two. So he's tw he's twenty two <laughs> ninety nine, um. But he's like super fuzzy and he's like really thin. Like he just looks. I don't know. He's cute. And then I got Ray because she's my favorite. And again, she was twenty two ninety nine as well. Um. But like everything is just like it's like, I don't know. Like just the detail. Like everything. Like it literally looks like like her hair is like made out of corduroy and like I don't. Know. It's just so cool. And I just think like sitting on a little shelf. Like these guys would look so cute. So maybe next time we go back, I'll get other guys. But these are the two that I got. And then I also got this guy. And this guy I wanted. Oh. BBH. Powering down. BBH is powered down. So this guy I wanted basically the whole trip for the first like four or five days that we were there. And I finally convinced Austin that he would fit in our suitcase. He's like, I don't think he'll fit. But he did. And we got him home fine. But these are the new stuffies, well, that are supposed to replace the pillow pets. Um, so he is, I don't know what they're called, I think they're called dreams or something. But they're supposed to look like they're sleeping. And like, he's just so cute. And he's massive. Like, yeah. he's like a big he guy. is huge. Mm -hmm. He was definitely the biggest one of them all there. But it's Mr. Sven, he's so cute. And he was $32. So he's kind of expensive. But if but you think about so it, cozy. this was thirty-two dollars, and those little guys were we're twenty-three. <laughs> so, also while we were at the little shop where the handmade little dolls, you can get those. Um, we picked up this. We picked up this card game, uh, Sabak. It's a game that they play in the Star Wars movies. Um, if you watched Solo, um, this is actually the card game that Han wins. To get the falcon from lando um we got the white knight um one of the mickey pant sundays from the ice cream parlor on main street um and it comes with i think like two or three scoops of ice cream and then like a whole bunch of toppings and stuff but it's basically just like a mickey kitchen sink it was 18 dollars for the ice cream sundae and the little pants but it was a know, big ice cream sundae if you and know it was a much, good ice cream sundae. exactly and if you know how much stuff in disney costs anyways it's like yeah. okay it's not that much more to get stupid pants but okay sorry if the camera angle is different we had to change the battery so when we went to galaxy's edge we went to Ogus cantina which was oh. so cool um but one of the drinks that i got was the cliff dweller um and this one comes with a souvenir mug and this was the mug it's a little porg and it's supposed to look like a wood carving kind of so it's supposed to look like a tree and then like they carved him out of the tree and just inside and then on the bottom it says first edition star wars galaxy's edge i think he was 32 dollars and you drink the drink oh. out of a cup like out of one of these obviously mm -hmm. but then they give you a brand new one in a box to bring home so you, yeah it's not the same one that you already drank out of so it's not gonna be like sticky or have anything mm -hmm. in it like well you're trying to like bring it back home yeah and then this was the thing that um i <laughs> basically was the thing i needed to get like actually needed because i have a collection of these and i only have the three and you already know what i'm talking about if you watched my last haul or any of my videos talking about things <laughs> i needed to buy from disney um this is the starbucks you are here mug but it is the hollywood studios mug and this 
is the mug I've been searching for because I forgot to pick it up on our last trip because I was a dummy and was just distracted on that day. <laughs> yeah. um, but this is the Hollywood Studios mug and then it's like purple on the inside. It's brown. It's purple. Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. It's like a ready purple. Um, but yeah, it's like super cool. And I'm so happy that I got it. And this guy was 16, I believe they're 16.99. I guess this is another free thing. That yeah. We didn't kind of forgot about, but so in Animal Kingdom. Rafiki's Planet Watch. At Rafiki's Planet Watch, you can do an animation experience kind of thing where you just go in and there's like an animator and they have a camera on like their piece of paper and you get to draw characters. So when we went, it was, so when we went, we got to draw Scar. Um, so that is Caitlin's drawing and then that is my drawing. And I am the least artistic person in the entire universe. So and I'm actually both, very happy with how it turned out. Turn out really they did good. Yeah. Like definitely recommend doing it, even if you're not like the most artistic person in the yeah. world. It's like a fun, like kind of more chill thing to do if you're like getting tired and you want to just sit down for a little bit. And, in air conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is something that we get every year. We actually normally get a ornament too every year, but when we went, every we just trip. every trip. But we just really didn't love any of the ornaments this time when we were there. Um, so we didn't get one. We just didn't get one. So yeah. but we got one of these. These are the pictures um, where you can get an artist um, in Disney and they draw them for you and you pick which one it is and they pick you pick the color. Um, but this is the photo that we got or not photo the drawing that we got done. It's Mickey and Minnie in their Halloween costumes and we got it with the red color, um, but it kind of looks orange so it's perfect. Yeah. And then I got these guys. This was actually the first thing that I got because we were walking by one of the shops in um, Frontierland and I didn't even think they would have this anymore, but they did and I was super happy about it. This is the Splash Mountain Pop Funko blah 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 blah. So it's a three pack. And it's a parks exclusive, so you can only get it at the Disney parks. Um, and it comes with Bear Rabbit, Bear Fox, and Bear Bear. And it's for the 30th anniversary of Splash Mountain. And this, whoa. <laughs> There's three pops. There's three pops, limited edition. This was $50, um, $49.99. Okay, the lighting's all wonky now because we had to fix the thing again. Okay, this haul is almost done, I promise. <laughs> this is the last thing. I got this Donald sweater, and it is the cutest sweater I've ever seen in my life. And it's just Donald and blue, and it says Walt Disney World on the side. And then on the back, it has the back of Donald, and it says Walt Disney World. And I just thought this was so cute because it reminds me of like, like vintagey kind of sweaters, like 2000s, 90s kind of like Disney sweaters. So I was very happy, and it's very soft. So. That was it. That's everything. <laughs> that's that's everything that we got while we were at Disney. Um, yeah. Every time I say like, oh, we didn't get that much. <laughs> but it's like a decent amount of stuff. We like buy everything at the beginning of our trip though. Mm -hmm. That's why I think I don't think we get that much because it's like the first three days, it's just like bye, bye, bye. And then after that, it's like we don't really spend any money. Like, you know? So anyways, that is our haul. Yep. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, also, my vlogs will be coming soon-ish. I like to I like to edit at least like at least four or five of them so that I have them like ready to go. Um, so I don't want to upload them right away. So it will be a little bit of time, um, but they will be coming. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Um, and that's everything. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!